Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Tuesday, July 18, 2017. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in today. All right, looking at this market, we are looking at the S&P 500 E-mini futures getting hit a little bit, down about five points ahead of the opening bell. Right now, the futures are sitting at 24.53 and a half per contract. Earnings season is in full blast mode. We have lots of earnings out here today, and we are looking at lower futures. But the first stock we're going to take a look at today is going to be Netflix. NFLX is the ticker symbol. They reported earnings last night after the closing bell. Stock right now is trading at 177.19. So all in all, Netflix with a pretty amazing pop. It closed at 161.70 yesterday. So that's a really, really good move higher. Again, this is a little bit overbought, but a new all-time high for Netflix. There's not much we're going to do with it there. Uh, in the intraday stock chat room, if we see a reversal pattern of some sort, we will let you know. We might play it that way. But again, not much we're going to look to do here ahead of the opening bell. Stock is still holding up very very well and it is very very strong this morning so netflix on the move next stock we're going to take a look at is the one of the biggest bank stocks out here bac bank of america stock was down a little bit now it's basically a little lower than yesterday's close right now trading at 23.94 close at 24.02 they reported earnings this morning and we are starting to see a little bit of a drip back down but all in all just uh slightly below the flat line for Bank of America. Full disclosure, I do own shares in BAC stock. So again, we'll see how that one plays out today, but we will be looking at it once the opening bell rings. Let's take a look at Goldman Sachs. They reported earnings as well. Stock closed at 229.26, now trading at 226.30. So this is a three-point haircut for Goldman Sachs. There's a lot of support in this general area on an intraday chart, but uh, again, I have bigger levels below. We'll look at that if it, if we need to. But right now, Goldman not uh, giving us a great, great chart set up here for a play one way or the other. But we will keep this on the radar. Very good chance we play Goldman today in the intraday stock chat room. Next up, we're going to take a look at Lockheed Martin. LMT is the ticker symbol there. Stock closed at 288.49, trading at 290.31. They reported earnings. Stock is upticked a little bit. <clears throat> you can see here it has started to come back in a little bit with everything else. So we'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings. There's not a whole lot we're going to do here just yet, but I do see um, some support levels on the chart. We'll look at it once the opening bell rings. And once again, if you want to trade alongside of us, take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You can trade right with us, see everything that we're doing, see our desktops live. And again, uh, we should have a lot of action going forward as earnings season just gets underway. Let's take a look at Johnson & Johnson today. J&J &J is a ticker symbol there. Stock right now is trading at 133.30, closed at 132.15. So this is about a dollar uptick for J&J &J stock. Again, um, I'm not seeing all that much out here that I love, nor anything that I really hate. But if this stock does come down today by some chance and it, and it starts to move lower, watch the 128.35 level. A lot of support there, 128.35 for JNJ. &J. Let's take a look at UNH, which is United Healthcare. Uh, this stock right now is trading at 186.69. Closed yesterday at 186.35. So it's upticking a little bit. Can't make much out of that. We'll look at it once the opening bell rings today. Stock that we are going to have a gap level for is Harley Davidson. Ticker symbol is H O G. Stock right now is getting hit pretty sharply. It closed yesterday at $52. Now trading at $47.30. That's a pretty big haircut for Harley Davidson. Again, I have gap levels ready for this one today. They'll be posted up in the intraday stock chat room right around 9 a.m. Next up, we're going to take a look at Ameritrade. T D Ameritrade. A M. TD is the ticker symbol here. Stock right now is trading at $45.76. It closed at $44.78. So this is about a dollar uptick. Nice little move there for TD Ameritrade. We'll see where it goes once the opening bell rings. I don't know if there's a lot to do here. You are going to come up into a lot of uh, weekly chart resistance. If you take a look here at a weekly chart, just notice right around that $47.50 area. Uh, there's a lot of resistance in that way. So, uh, again, we'll see how if it can get through there. If it gets through there, certainly more upside. But right now, I'm thinking that 47 and a half to $48 area probably is a stall area. So, again, if you own it, trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, don't do much with it here. Let's take a look at its counterpart here, Charles Schwab. 
uh, SCHW is a ticker symbol there. Stock right now uh, closed at 42.93 yesterday. Take a look at it this morning. It is trading at 44. Up, uh, yep, trading at around 44 dollars. So, again, nice little pop there for Charles Schwab. Oh, I take that back. Trading at 42.80. So it had a pop. Now it's come back down. Uh, be a little bit careful there. A lot of support still around forty dollars and twenty cents. If it does get there today, and very well could, uh, with earnings in way. So again, earnings out, and in so many different companies here, you want to be a little bit on the guarded side. Know your levels. Again, this is an options expiration trading week. That means this coming Friday, which will be the twenty-first of July, will be options expiration for the month of July. Again, you're going to get a lot of game playing going on this entire week. In a lot of these big stocks, you add earnings to the mix, it's going to be a rodeo out here. So, again, just be aware of that. And, again, if you want to trade right alongside of us, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You could trade right with us. We're having a great, sensational 2017, and we're going to look to keep that going. Next up, we want to take a look at gold. Gold right now trading higher by $7.50. Great pop on gold today. So gold futures, GLD, you're going to see here trading at 118.13. Nice pop. GLD closed at 117.28. And like I said, spot gold up 7 bucks today, trading at 241 an ounce at the moment. So gold is higher. Now, what's the catalyst? Catalyst is a lower dollar. Dollar getting beaten down today. Dollar trading lower. And again, dollar down after the uh, Senate released news that they are not going to vote on the health care bill. They're going to look to scrap it all together. And again, that sent the dollar down sharply. So we'll see how that plays out uh, today. It's going to be a very, very interesting trading session, to say the least. Lots of moving parts out here. Let's take a look at the crude oil market. Crude oil trading higher by 78 cents to 47.01 a barrel. So good move on crude today. And what you're going to see here is crude trading up around a 962 level, closed at 942 on the USO. USO is a good oil ETF to watch and track crude. And again, crude oil today on spot trading up into the $47 level. So crude on the move. And again, the weaker dollar certainly helping crude out in the near term. All right, I'm going to leave it here short and sweet. Once again, if you have not done so, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You'll see everything that we are doing there. You get to trade right alongside of us. And again, it should be a pretty interesting trading session. Futures are lower by six and a quarter points, and it's going to be a wild one out here. With that being said, everybody have a great trading day, and we will see you on the charts.